I have the neck on for the first time and also the bridge set up. Uh, I'm going to bring this in and set my little tripod down and maybe give you a better view. Excuse my, uh, my body if I get in the way while I'm filming this. But uh, let's open this up. Excuse my incredibly messy bench and poor practices as a luthier here, but um, this, I'm hoping to find some black screws of the same kind. I'm probably just gonna have to order some online, but no big deal. Um, open this up, and this is my practice bridge, so there's like some blowouts and stuff. Uh, the real one is tucked away and it's safe and it's much nicer. But you open this up, I have it on threaded inserts so that this is not something that wears out in the future. And then when you look inside, uh, you have this metal guy right here. I hope you guys are actually seeing this because I'm doing this kind of blind at the moment. But um, the strings will latch in under here, wrap around that black piece and head towards the neck. Um, none of this is completely final sanded yet, but, um, so it's a little bit tight, but I know that I'm going to do a lot more sanding before then in order to not have to remove this piece to change strings. Um, right now, I can manage it. I'm going to try to do it on camera real quick once I put this back on. But uh, it is a tight squeeze. But again, in the future, after I've final sanded this and done a little bit more shaping, hopefully it will be an easier feat. Uh, I'm going to show you with the thickest gauge string that I plan on putting on this, which is a 46. I'm going to take this ball end and kind of tuck it down in between. And then I'm going to try to maneuver it a little bit, feel it catch in the slot, and then you can wrap it around. I have a bridge here, so this will be you know elevated a little bit but it'll wrap around and go towards the, uh, the nut and the tuners. And um, like I said, it's a little bit more space. I think that'll be an easier feat right now. It's not too bad. Uh, and this is the thickest one, so that would probably be the hardest it would be. Doing it with other strings on there, however, may become a little bit more of a challenge. So we'll see how that goes. I'm wondering if you can see my cat in the background right now being a dumbass over there. Um, my wife's cat. I don't have a cat. Anyway, that's uh, where we're at. I'm going to hold this up and show you this beauty. Uh, I have also drilled a hole on the side for the, uh, the jack. And I'm going to be using this style of jack. Um, and right now, it's hard to tell, but basically it would just sit flush in there. Um, and it would be flush with the side of the body. And, uh, but since I have one hand and I'm trying to, well, let's just do it. Why not? YouTube can upload a long video. Pull these off. Pull these off. Just to give you an idea of how it would look, I'm going to go in here. And obviously everything still hasn't been sanded. But it's going to sit flush like that. And that'll be good to go. Have a nice big electronics cavity that, uh... I haven't messed with yet and I still need to cut a cover for this. I may have to deepen that by hand, which will be scary, but hey, I did inlay for a long time. Shouldn't be that bad. And that's where we're at with this project so far. Um, I weighed just the body the other night, the body by itself, and it was about two and a half pounds without any of the hardware or anything. So right now, if I was guessing, I'd say it's about five right now but I have no way of knowing until I weigh it all together. So that's where we're at. Uh, tune in next time. I know I didn't really do anything. I just showed you what I've done. Um, but, you know, for my own sanity, sometimes I don't worry about filming. So there you go. And we're going to end this video right now.